Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of integration. And if I talk about the question, which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us to find the value of an integral, which has the limits three root two divided by four. And the other limit given to us is three root three divided by four. And the expression that is given to us here is 48 divided by square root of 9 minus 4x square dx. So we need to figure out the value of this expression. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here, the options are pi over 2. The other answer choice, pi over 3. The third answer choice, pi over 6. And the last answer choice that we have here is 2 pi. So basically we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for this question that is given to us here. Let's see how to solve this question. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it is free for you but motivates me also to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible. Let's see the solution for this question. So if I see, I have an integral, I have the limits 3 root 2 divided by 4 and 3 root 3 divided by 4. If I talk about the expression that I have here, I have 48 square root of 9 minus 4x squared. So if I talk about the general formula, first of all, the general formula tells me integral of dx divided by square root of a square minus x square, which is nothing but sine inverse of x over a plus c. So I have the integral of this root of a square minus x square as this. So basically what I understand is with x square, you should not have any number. So when I should not have any number, I will divide this by 4. And inside the root, if I'm dividing by 4, means I'm dividing by square root of 4, which is 2. So if I'm dividing by square root of 4, I'm multiplying by 2. Because I'm dividing by 2, that is square root of 4. So here, if I divide it, let's see what I get. So I get 48 and 2 divided. So 2 1s and 2 24s. So you get this integral with the limits 3 root 2 divided by 4, 3 root 3 divided by 4, 24 divided by this becomes square root of 9 over 4 which is 3 over 2 squared minus x squared so we have this entire thing so 24 taken out integral of the limits 3 root 2 divided by 4 3 root 3 divided by 4 1 over square root of 3 over 2 square minus x square dx now, once I have this form of equation, I have integral of dx divided by this. I can write that as 24 sine inverse of x over a, so x over 3 by 2 plus c. Or if I have here this expression, I already have the limits given. So we don't need to write this plus c. Plus c is written when you don't have any limits because it can have any constant value. So I can just apply the limits afterwards. So I get this idea. Further, if I solve it, I get 24 sine inverse of 2x divided by 3. Now, once I have 2x divided by 3, I have the limits also given to me. 3 root 3 over 4 and this was 3 root 2. So if I apply the limits of that x inside, I get sine inverse of 2 over 3 and x in this case is 3 root 3 over 4 minus sine inverse of 2 over 3 and 3 root 2 over 4. So if I try to solve this further, let's see. So I get this 2 and 4 cancelled, 2 ones to 2 times, 2 ones to 2 times, 3 and 3 gets cancelled, 3 and 3 gets cancelled. So you get root 3 over 2 and here you get root 2 over 2. So root 2 over 2 also I can cancel root 2 1 times and here you are left with root 2. So you get 24 sine inverse of root 3 over 2, root 3 over 2, which is basically 60 degrees. So that's pi over 3 and 1 over root 2, which is pi over 4. So you get 24, 4 pi minus 3 pi, which is pi, 
3 into 4, which is 12. 1s, 2s, so you get 2 pi. So you get the answer to the question, applying the limits, and the answer becomes 2 pi. If you see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option D. So D becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of finding the answers for the questions of definite integration. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on GWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel. And share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.